So here's the block that you can make that we're going to be using in this free motion quilt video and this is the first time that i've done one of these videos so i just wanted to give a little brief overview of exactly what we're doing i'm showing you four different designs today but i wanted to show you how to move into each of them because that's the part that i struggled with the most was not making the designs but moving into swapping the designs up to each one so just in case you're completely new to this just so you know that the background of course is the white and then the foreground is all the colored parts. And each colored part has a different design, kind, mostly. So on the background, we're doing these scallop bubbles. Um, in these pink squares right here, we're doing drapes, and then we're doing squiggly lines in our drapes. In these golden, they're the star points, we're doing fire triangles. And the fire triangles kind of follow the triangle shape of the star points. We're also going to do that exact same design for this little bitty smidgen of green triangle here. In the center, of course, we're doing the flower. So every single block has a different design. So all the golds are the same, all the pinks are the same. The, the two greens are not though. And then the whole background will be doing these scallop bubbles. And that's just to give you an idea of where we're going. Now what the video is supposed to show you is not only how to do the design, but also how to swap into a different design. Another thing that I had trouble with when I, when I first started free motion quilting was how to get from point A to point B because I can get trapped. I'm going to give you a few tips about how not to get trapped, but also when you are trapped, you just, you know, you just stitch right on that ditch line or right over a set of stitches that you've already made. So anyway, let's get to it. Okay, I'm hoping I don't bump this camera um, too much, so just bear with me. I always like to start in the top right hand corner. Grab up my thread. We're gonna start with our scallop bubbles. So to get started, just do a couple of stitches in place and then you just wanna make a scallop. And then we're gonna go around it two times. And then I like to just follow a, along this line just a little bit to make to start the next one. There's your first bubble. And then I don't I don't want to fo keep following along this edge, so I'm going to follow this a bit this back around uh -oh. until I get right about here. And then I'll make my next bubble. Echo it twice. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that little number. Ideally, I keep these um, repeats um, as close to the original as I can, but I, I tend to just be wonky about it and they kind of just look, all look a little bit different. It doesn't matter which direction they're going in. So use that to get yourself to another place. So instead of coming back down here, I'm trying to get it back up here so I can start on this first square. So I'm gonna just follow this edge until I get myself right here. And then we're gonna start our second design, which is the drape. And what I'm doing is I, I, I have a design picked out for each of the shapes, but I don't want to just do each shape individually. I wanna try to go around the, the block. I'm doing them as I come to them. That way I can, I don't have to stop and start, stop and start, stop and start. So let's start the drape. The first thing on the drape is we're just going to from, go from one point to the next. Ideally, they match, but you know, I don't worry too much about it. I'm gonna follow along that last edge I stitched, and that's when I'm gonna add these little lines to it, just like this. And you'll notice that when I come to the bottom line, I, I follow along it and then go back up. And 
then to get out of this, I'm just going to follow right back on this line. So I'm just going right back on top of my previous stitches. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. So I'm starting this one. I want to get back out of here and I want to get back onto my background. So I'm just going to follow this drape that goes just like this. And if you need to go slow, go slow. If you come off of it a little bit, it's fine. And then I'm going to start back on my bubble scallops. And I'm careful not to get into this space. This way. I don't like to get far away from where I'm working at because it, it'll leave a gap and then it'll be hard for you to get back to it and hard for you to fill it. So I just keep all my bubbles together instead of trailing down and then having to go back. So I'm gonna make a little tiny bubble here because I'm in a good place to start on this section. Now on this section, we're doing our, um, our fire triangles. So let me show you how to do that. We wanna start maybe a quarter inch from this line here, and you're going to make a wavy line to the center, and then you're gonna make a wavy line like in a peak or a triangle. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, and then I'm gonna follow along this in the ditch right here, just a little bit of ways, and I'm gonna do it again. And then once more, follow along on the ditch and do my last one, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the ditch right here and get to this side. So we've got um, fire triangles planned for this little piece right here. So we'll do this one. Stitch in the ditch. If they're a little bit wonky, just, just go with it. I'm gonna stitch in the ditch to get to do this one too. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this with my bubbles and then do my drapes right here too. When I find a, a corner I can get to, I start the drape. And because this one is kind of a diamond shape instead of the regular squares up here, I'm gonna do um, these lines, just going in the opposite direction. And you just use your previous lines as your, you just go right back on top of them when you're trying to travel. All right, and then I'm gonna get out of this right through here. And then I'm just gonna follow the ditch. I'm actually gonna try to make a little bubble right here so I don't leave an empty spot. So just like that. I'm gonna try to work myself back up here so I can do this center section. Um, so I'm kind of in a weird place, but I'm gonna follow this stitch line right here 
and get back into this stitch. And then I'm gonna follow this stitch to get right here. All right, so now I want to do the center. Then you wanna come in a, like a half moon shape. We're gonna do it like this. And then we'll do our twist. Like that. Come back out. And then we're gonna go back to this corner and make the petal. And then I'm gonna travel right back on here. When I get close to it, I can just add another round to the center. Like that. And then I want to go and make a petal, but I'm this time I'm going to try to not touch the corner up here. And then go back. Rotate around. And then I'm going to travel just a little bit. And then do this petal. Now I want to start echoing, so I'm going to go back the way I came, but instead of staying on the line, I'm just going to kind of go around it. Ooh, made that one a little fat. And then we're gonna meet back up with this first line we started with, just like that. And if you wanna echo again, you can, which, and I probably will. And I'm gonna get back out of this center by just going back to this ditch here and going right back on top of that line. Like that. And then I'm gonna come back over here. And then since we're at this corner, we might as well do this drape. all the designs I have to show you now it's just a matter of repeating them over and over as we come to them and um, I think the only tips I got is if you're if you're trapped go on your ditch or repeat right back on your stitch lines and now I will just be quiet and let you watch me get this stitched up I don't know if you can see this. It's just kind of puffy right there. So I just want to stitch along the ditch and just kind of lay it down. And then I'm going to come back out. And I don't I don't stitch on every ditch. I'm but if there's one that's getting a little puff, then I do.
got a long way to go on these drapes. For some reason, I can never get them perfect, but you just keep trying. All right, this is one of the diamond drapes, so I'm gonna turn it like this and do it. get myself back over here at this little spot I missed before I do this little section. Okay. And because I'm, I'm, I've left my area where I'm, where I'm supposed to be at, so let me just get back there work my way back. I'm just going to go along the ditch so I can get back over here. Let me just go ahead and do this fire triangle now while I'm here. <laughs> I can't get, forget them right, but you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Um, I want to check my rotation because these are going up and down, so I want to make sure that I keep all of them going the same direction. And one little trick is so that you don't feel like um, you're doing anything, oh, there's a hair, doing anything wrong, is to not make them straight, and then you don't have to worry about them being straight, because without a ruler, I'm never going to get them straight. Um, do you see how this has oh, got a bit of a puff to it? And it's because it goes so so wide without a stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch this stitch right here. Um, but here she has done and the texture is so yummy. I really like those fire triangles the best, I think. And the flower, of course. And the bubbles, the scallop bubbles, just the texture is so great on those. I really have a long way to go with my drapes. Um, I mean, look at that, look at that drape. That one is really wild, but it doesn't matter. Hand done and it's going to have some corks to it. Um, if you have any suggestions about the way I'm doing the videos or things that you like or dislike, I'm trying to make it as best for you as I possibly can. So I'm definitely open to some criticism if there are things that I can do that you think would be better. Um, but I'm gonna go get mine squared up and turned into a pillow. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that.